The point of this week is to be able to integrate rational functions, functions formed from one polynomial divided by another polynomial. Rational functions are fractions of polynomials. As fractions of polynomials, they actually have quite a bit in common with the usual fractions of numbers. You may recall from your grade school mathematics the idea of a proper fraction. For numbers, a fraction is proper, proper if the numerator is smaller than the denominator. If a fraction is not proper, such as 17 fifths, then there's always a way to make it proper by pulling out a whole number. 17 fifths is the same thing as 3 plus 2 fifths, and 2 fifths is a proper fraction. Essentially, this is doing division with remainder. 17 divided by 5 is 3 with remainder 2. 3 whole number, and 2 leftover fifths. This logic applies just as nicely to polynomials. A rational function is proper if the degree of the numerator is smaller than the degree of the denominator. Instead of the size of the number, it is the degree of the polynomial that now matters. If a rational function is not proper, such as x cubed over x squared plus 1, then it can be made proper by pulling out a polynomial and leaving a proper rational function behind. x cubed over x squared plus 1 is equal to x, which is a polynomial, minus x over x squared plus 1, which is a proper rational function. And to check that this is true, I can use common denominator on the right side and simplify, showing that the left is exactly produced. So, to make 17 fifths proper, I did division with remainder. 17 divided by 5 is 3 with remainder 2. Well, I can do the same thing with polynomials. x cubed divided by x squared plus 1 is indeed x with remainder negative x. Well, how do I do this in general? How do I calculate polynomial division? Well, now I'm really going back to grade school, at least for some of you if your grade school included long division. To do division with remainder, Long division is a really good algorithm. It works for numbers, and now it also works for polynomials. So to divide two polynomials, I'm going to use long division. So let me remind you how the algorithm works. If you learned long division before, you would have had to work with place values. First divide the largest place value, then move on to the smaller. For polynomials, it's all about degrees. I'll start with the largest degree, and then move down to smaller degrees. And this is best shown by examples. I want to understand the rational function x to the 4 plus 3x squared plus 2x plus 4 over x squared plus 4. This is not a proper rational function. The degree of the numerator is higher. I want to use division to make it a proper rational function. So I set up the long division. You can see that the numerator and the denominator here in the notation. Then I look at the degrees. The highest degrees are x squared and x to the 4, and I ask, how can x squared go into x to the 4? What do I need to multiply by to make this work? Well, I need to multiply by x squared. So I write x squared in the numerator. Then I multiply x squared by x squared plus 4 and subtract. And the result is subtracting x squared minus 4, x to the 4 minus 4x squared from the original numerator. The x4s will cancel. It must, that's what the algorithm is designed to do. 3x squared minus 4x squared is negative x squared, and there are no other items to subtract, so 2x plus 4 is unchanged. Well, then I have a new polynomial, negative x squared plus 2x plus 4. And then I repeat. How does x squared plus 4 go into negative x squared plus 4 plus 4x plus 4? Just looking at the first terms, I need to multiply by negative 1. I do so, and then subtract. And subtracting a negative is the same as adding, so I'm adding x squared plus 4 to this. The result is that the x squareds cancel, and I'm left with 2x plus 8. Now I have something with degree less than x squared plus 4, and this means I must stop. This is the remainder. I've completed the long division. The quotient is x squared minus 2, and the remainder is 2x plus 8. This means that x squared or x to the 4 plus 3x squared plus 2x plus 4 divided by x squared plus 4 is equal to x squared minus 2, the quotient, plus 2x plus 8, the remainder, over x squared plus 4. And I have now made a proper rational function. Polynomial division means that I can always make a proper rational function. The other polynomial technique I would need is factoring. So let me talk about factoring for a bit. Factoring a polynomial is breaking it down into smaller pieces. 
The nicest and easiest pieces are linear factors, x minus alpha for some constant alpha. Linear factors also correspond to roots. x minus alpha is a linear factor only if alpha is a root, since putting alpha in for x will lead to zero in the polynomial. In a perfect world, every polynomial would break down nicely into linear factors. However, at least for the real numbers, this doesn't happen. Other than linear factors, there can also be quadratic factors, ax squared plus bx plus c. Whether a quadratic factor breaks down into two linear factors depends on whether or not it has roots, and whether it has roots can be determined by the quadratic formula. In the quadratic formula, there is a square root term. And inside the square root term is the expression b squared minus 4ac. This is called the discriminant of the quadratic. Since it is inside the square root, it determines whether or not roots exist. If the discriminant is negative, then there is a negative under the square root, which means that the quadratic cannot be solved. There are no roots, so there are no linear factors. This is called an irreducible quadratic. So, to determine if a quadratic is irreducible, I test the discriminant to see if it is negative. The good news about factoring polynomials is that there are no irreducible pieces other than quadratics. All real polynomials factor into linear and irreducible quadratic pieces. Actually, calculating those factors can be very difficult, of course. The last thing to mention about factors is multiplicity. The same factor can show up several times in a polynomial. Consider this polynomial p, which factors into x minus 3 to the 4, x minus 5 squared, and x squared plus 4x plus a to the 7th. Note that this last piece is an irreducible quadratic. There are three factors here, but they have exponents. These exponents are called the multiplicity of the factor. The linear factor x minus 3 has multiplicity 4, the linear factor x minus 5 has multiplicity 2, and the irreducible quadratic factor has multiplicity 7. When I factor a polynomial, I must also include multiplicity of the factors to get a complete picture.